Do you believe that a simple habit could be silently setting your body up for a stroke? And what if I told you that many of these habits seem completely harmless? How often have you heard that sitting for long periods isn't a big deal, or that adding a bit of salt to your food is no problem? And could daily stress really affect your brain enough to cause a stroke? The truth is, there are dangerous myths about what actually contributes to a stroke. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to spot the 10 most common daily habits that silently increase that risk, especially after age 60. And most importantly, before the end of the video, I'll reveal which one is the deadliest and how breaking it can save your life. Stick with me to the end. You might be shocked by the habits you've been repeating every single day. Every 40 seconds, someone in the United States suffers a stroke. The most frightening part? Most of them never saw it coming. A stroke doesn't usually announce itself with dramatic symptoms. It sneaks up, fueled by small, everyday choices. Skipping a walk, eating something salty, sleeping poorly. At first, they seem like minor decisions, but over time, they impact blood flow to the brain and raise stroke risk, especially in people over 60. I'm not here to scare you, I'm here to alert you. A stroke can change your life in seconds. It can take away your ability to speak, move, or even live independently. The worst part, many people over 60 are unknowingly repeating these habits daily, and that needs to change. Up next, I'll walk you through the top 10 daily habits that silently set you up for a stroke. We'll start at number 10 and finish with the most dangerous one at number one. Pay close attention and take notes if you'd like. And as you watch, ask yourself, which of these habits do I need to change today? Let's begin the countdown. Habit number 10. You sit for hours without moving. It might seem harmless, but sitting for long periods, whether watching TV, working or reading, slows down blood circulation. When blood flow slows, clot formation becomes more likely, especially in the legs. These clots can travel to the brain and trigger a stroke. The risk rises sharply after age 60, when the body becomes less efficient at keeping blood flowing naturally. The fix? Move more. Standing up for just one minute every 30 minutes helps improve circulation, lower blood pressure, and keep your brain oxygenated. Set reminders if needed. Walk while talking on the phone. Stretch between tasks. Sitting too long isn't just lazy. It's a hidden trap. Habit number nine. You consume too much salt. Salt is everywhere. Chips, soups, sauces, frozen meals, even bread. And most people have no idea how much they're consuming. But excess sodium quietly raises blood pressure every single day. High blood pressure is the leading cause of strokes. It weakens and stiffens arteries, making them more likely to rupture or clog. Once arteries are damaged, blood flow to the brain becomes unstable. Just one sudden pressure spike can lead to a clot, or worse, a brain hemorrhage. And here's the scary part. Food doesn't have to taste salty to be dangerous. Packaged items that seem healthy often contain hidden sodium. After 60, your kidneys can't process salt as efficiently, which sends stroke risk soaring in older adults. So start reading nutrition labels carefully. Keep your daily sodium intake under 1,500 milligrams. Cook more at home. Use herbs instead of salt for flavor and be extra cautious with restaurant meals. They're usually loaded with sodium. Stroke prevention starts in the kitchen. Salt may seem harmless, but in excess, it's quietly powerful and deadly. Habit number eight. You sleep on your back with multiple pillows. Sleep should heal your body. But the wrong position can actually raise your stroke risk, especially if you sleep on your back with two or more stacked pillows. Why? That position can restrict blood flow through the neck and brain, leading to low oxygen levels, especially in people who snore or have undiagnosed sleep apnea. Partially blocked airways and oxygen drops during sleep are damaging. Studies show that poor oxygenation overnight can trigger inflammation, raise blood pressure, and increase clot risk. Over time, this can cause small brain injuries and eventually a full-blown stroke. If you snore, choke, or wake up groggy, 
Get evaluated for sleep apnea right away. For safer sleep, lie on your side with a single support pillow. Keep your neck aligned and avoid reclining chairs where your head slumps forward. Sleep is critical for brain repair, but only when done right. Changing how you sleep tonight is one of the simplest and most powerful ways to protect your brain from a stroke. Habit number seven, you skip water in the morning. It might seem like a small thing, but ignoring hydration first thing in the morning is a common and dangerous mistake. After seven to eight hours of sleep without water, your body wakes up naturally dehydrated. Your blood becomes thicker, which makes it harder to flow smoothly through your vessels. Slower blood flow increases the chance of clot formation, especially in the brain. For older adults, this is particularly risky because the brain needs a constant steady supply of oxygen-rich blood. Feeling dizzy, tired, or foggy in the morning isn't just normal aging. It could be a warning sign. The fix? Drink a full glass of water within 30 minutes of waking up. You can add lemon or a pinch of natural salt if you like, but the key is to rehydrate your system before anything else. And don't replace water with coffee. Caffeine can actually make you more dehydrated. Prioritizing hydration is free, easy, and one of the most overlooked habits for stroke prevention. Habit number six, you rely on processed foods every day. They're fast, convenient, and everywhere. But processed foods are one of the deadliest habits for your brain health. Every time you open a bag of chips, microwave a frozen meal, or pour sauce from a jar, you're feeding your body preservatives, sodium, unhealthy fats, and added sugars. These ingredients inflame your blood vessels, raise your blood pressure, and, even more dangerously, damage the lining of your arteries. That damage makes clot formation easier and stroke more likely. The worst part? Processed foods don't look harmful. They often appear clean, colorful, even appealing. But it's the hidden threats, trans fats, sodium, added sugars that silently attack your brain. After age 60, your body struggles even more to process this junk. Your liver slows down, your arteries grow more sensitive, and stroke risk climbs. Start by swapping just one processed food a day for something fresh, like an apple instead of chips, or homemade soup instead of canned. Real food protects your brain, processed food attacks it, and when eaten daily, it becomes one of the most dangerous habits you can develop. Be smarter than the marketing. Choose ingredients your brain recognizes before it's too late. Your next stroke could be sitting in your freezer. Habit number five, you snore or have sleep apnea and ignore it. Snoring isn't just annoying, it's a serious red flag for something much more dangerous, sleep apnea. This is a condition where your breathing stops and restarts repeatedly during sleep, often without you realizing it. Each pause in breathing cuts off oxygen to your brain. When that happens night after night, your brain suffers and stroke risk skyrockets. Sleep apnea causes sudden spikes in blood pressure, inflames your blood vessels, and increases your risk of blood clots. You may wake up gasping or feel tired even after a full night's sleep. If you're over 60 and you snore loudly or feel unusually sleepy during the day, it's time to get checked. Untreated sleep apnea is a silent stroke trigger. The good news? Treatment works. CPAP machines, lifestyle changes, and simple sleep position adjustments can restore healthy breathing and drastically reduce your stroke risk. Don't ignore the signs. Snoring is your brain waving a red flag. Pay attention. Stroke doesn't wait for you to take it seriously. Take action. Get tested. Prioritize sleep. Your brain needs uninterrupted oxygen every night to stay sharp, strong, and safe. Habit number four. You drink sugary beverages every day. Soda, sweetened tea, bottled juices. All of these are loaded with liquid sugar and damage your arteries day after day. When you consume sugary drinks, your blood sugar spikes rapidly. That causes inflammation in your blood vessels and forces your pancreas to release more insulin. Over time, your body becomes insulin resistant, leading to diabetes, weight gain, and high blood pressure all major stroke risk factors. 
Even fruit juices that seem healthy often contain as much sugar as soda. Your brain hates sugar spikes. They wreak havoc on circulation and increase the chance of clots. If you drink sugary beverages daily, you're feeding a future stroke. Instead, hydrate with water, unsweetened teas, or lemon water. Cut back slowly if needed, but start now. Sugary drinks are addictive, but they're also preventable. And every time you skip one, your brain wins. Stroke doesn't take decades to develop. Sometimes it only takes a bad habit repeated daily. Be smarter than sugar. Your brain cells can't scream for help. But if they could, they'd beg you to stop drinking these sweet threats before it's too late. Habit number three. You let stress run your day without taking breaks. Chronic stress isn't just emotional, it's a full body chemical storm. When you spend your days feeling anxious, overwhelmed or under pressure, your brain is flooded with stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These raise your blood pressure, constrict your arteries and increase your stroke risk. You might think stress is normal at this stage of life, but it's far from harmless. Each stressful day adds up. It wears down your blood vessels and increases the chance of clots or brain hemorrhages. Even worse, many people over 60 deal with silent stress, worrying about health, family or finances, but never truly addressing it. That stress builds up and eventually explodes inside your body. You need to create micro breaks throughout your day. Take deep breaths, go for short walks, meditate, Listen to calming music. Even sitting quietly for five minutes can reset your system. Don't let stress control your life. Stroke risk isn't just about diet and exercise. It's also deeply tied to your emotional state. Chronic stress can kill. Manage it proactively before it manages you. Your brain wasn't built to live in survival mode forever. Give it peace, give it rest, and above all, give it protection. Habit number two, you never check your blood pressure. Not knowing your blood pressure is like driving without a speedometer. You won't see the crash until it's too late. High blood pressure is called the silent killer for a reason. It shows no symptoms, yet it's the leading cause of strokes. Every day your pressure is high, your brain's blood vessels are under attack. They become stiff, narrow, and prone to breaking or forming clots. And the older you get, the more common this becomes. Many seniors live for years with dangerously high blood pressure and don't even know it. You need to monitor it regularly. Home blood pressure monitors are affordable and easy to use. The goal is to stay under 120. Anything higher should be discussed with your doctor. And don't just check once. Measure it at different times of the day over several days. Blood pressure fluctuates and you need a full picture. Knowing your numbers gives you control. Ignoring them invites disaster. A $20 monitor could be the tool that saves your life. Don't take chances with your brain. Know your pressure. Know your risk. Act early. You only get one brain. Protect it like your life depends on it, because it does. Habit number one. You assume it won't happen to me. This is the most dangerous habit of all. Denial. Every senior who has suffered a stroke once thought the same thing. It won't happen to me, but it did, and it happens to millions every year. The truth is, stroke doesn't care if you're healthy, active, or optimistic. It cares about your habits. If you're doing even a few of the things we talked about, sitting too long, skipping hydration, ignoring high blood pressure, eating processed foods, you're at risk. Stroke is cruel because it strikes without warning. One day you're fine and the next you lose your ability to speak or move. The key is prevention and prevention starts with awareness. Stop assuming you're safe just because you feel fine today. Every good habit you build now, every glass of water, every short walk, every pressure check adds up to protection. Your brain is priceless. Your independence is precious and the cost of inaction is far too high. Consider this your wake-up call. Stroke is real. Stroke is preventable. But only if you stop these daily habits today. Now that you've learned the 10 most common daily habits that increase your risk of stroke, the real question is, what will you change starting today? 
Stroke is not a matter of luck, it's a matter of choices. Your daily routine is either helping your brain or slowly harming it. But here's the good news. Every habit we discussed is reversible. You can drink more water. You can move more. You can cut down on salt and sugar. You can sleep better. You can manage stress. These aren't huge changes, but they have a massive impact over time. Don't wait for a scary symptom to take your health seriously. Prevention is your greatest power, especially after age 60. If you found this video helpful, share it with someone you love. You might just save a life. And don't forget to visit our website, globalhealthguide.net. There you'll find even more valuable content on health and wellness. Now tell me in the comments, which one of these habits surprised you the most? And which one will you change first? And of course, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. It helps spread this message even further.